Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Pat. Uh, just going to do a quick look at the uh, Fuel Raven High Coast 18 liter day pack. Uh, this is a uh, 18 liter day pack. Surprise, surprise. Uh, it comes from Fuel Raven. It's made out of their G1000 and G1000 light material. Pretty awesome pack, pretty versatile. Um, I picked this up in lieu of the uh, Flash 18. I do have the Flash 18, so it's not really in lieu. Uh, but I picked it up to kind of take the place of that because uh, there was just some features that were lacking in the Flash 18 that I kind of wanted in my typical, you know, day packs when I just, uh, you know, want to get out in the woods for the day. Um, and uh, this this filled the bill. I didn't see any videos of it online or anything, so I thought that I would just, uh, you know, just do one real quick. I'm going to try to get this done with my uh, little two and a half year old here, uh, but she's absorbed in the videos, so we'll knock it out real quick. Uh, Fuel Raven High Coast 18 liter backpack. Uh, it's got a front zippered pocket here. Um, inside is the G1000 light material. Feels pretty durable. The outside material of this feels really nice. Very, very soft. Seems like it's going to be pretty water repellent and durable. Uh, this has a double sided zipper. Uh, the idea is that uh, you can take the foam back uh, piece out of this and be able to roll it up into this pocket. And uh, keep this pack just, you know, for whatever you're doing. If you're traveling or, you know, uh, backpacking and you carry one of those monstrous backpacks, you can throw a small one in there for your quick kit or whatever you need it for. Uh, pretty good size pocket. I'm size large hand, so I can kind of fit uh, both of my hands in there. Pretty good size. Um, keep some small items. It's slightly gusseted at the bottom, so it's not going to take up a ton of real estate inside of the pack, which I love. Um, uh, again, on the outside, it has these two side pockets that go down pretty deep. Um, you can fit easily like a 500 ml uh, standard water bottle um, in each one. Uh, th again, this is kind of half gusseted so that uh, it's not, again, not going to take up a ton of real estate on the inside. Uh, the material is thicker here at the bottom for, I'm assuming, some abrasion resistance. Um, as far as straps go, uh, it's got these two shoulder straps, uh, slightly curved uh, for ergonomics. It's got the cool little Fuel Raven Fox. Um, cool thing is as a sternum strap, it is removable. Uh, let me see if I can get a better picture of that. Yep, it's got a sternum strap here, removable. It's got a whistle on it. Um, I'm not going to blow it because my daughter will uh, come over here. And... What's this noise? <laughs> Uh, this also has a, um, a waist belt. Again, that's also removable, so kind of cool. Uh, this is a cinch top backpack, um, similar to the Flash 18 or things of that nature. Um, the mechanism for uh, the locking is kind of interesting. It's, um, it's not like a typical cord lock. You actually have to pull this down and it releases, uh, releases the mechanism there. I don't know if you can see that. The lighting is a little bit harsh. Um, but that's what kind of allows it to open and cinch and lock itself into place. Uh, other than that, you also have this little daisy chain running here. I think you have one, two, yeah, four slots, and you have a hook. Uh, you have a hook right here in the front, and I'll show you what that does in a minute. Um, so this is a cinch top. You can just undo it, and inside you have a small zippered pocket. Uh, it's made out of the G1000 light. Um, pretty small, just enough to keep like some essentials in there. Looks like it's got a little key fob. Um, there is a foam back panel in here that is removable. Kind of discussed that uh, earlier. Otherwise, that's it. It's just uh, just the bucket, and um, you know, it's decent size. This collar expands a little bit. Um, give you a little bit of extra room. Uh, this is a 18 liter pack, but it seems like it might be a little bit bigger. Um, but anyway, so uh, let me just throw a couple items in here. Uh, my DC that I always keep, a little possible pouch, I'll just throw some stuff in here real quick, just to give you an idea of how this looks. Uh, I'm six foot one. And um, pretty, uh, pretty tall, fairly slender guy. Little knife as well. So uh, the way that this whole situation works is um, you can. Uh, 
sorry guys, you can lock this down. And typically the way it would look on your back is it kind of hangs open. It just looks like a giant bucket. But uh, what this does is it gives you the ability to hook it in any one of these daisy chains, depending on how uh, full you have this backpack. But that kind of gives it a little bit of a cleaner look, you know, cleaner lines. You know, so it's kind of cool. So I'll throw it on my back real quick and just give you an idea of how it looks. My daughter's kicking me here in the ribs. So, so there you go. Let's see if I can give you guys a better angle. So that's that. Again, I'm 6'1". So it's, uh, you know, it's a smaller backpack, but it's not at all comically small. It doesn't look you know, uh, like a hydration pack or anything. It's, it's a decent sized uh, day pack. It feels very, very comfortable for me. Rides well on the shoulders. The straps are, uh, you know, fairly wide and uh, not, not very padded, which I actually like. It's just sort of a, a slight foam material. It's got the G1000 on the outside and this uh, foam and mesh on the inside, uh, but it's cool. You know, it's comfortable. It's a lot more comfortable than some of the other um, small day pack ultralight packs that, that I've had. Uh, so this pack retails, uh, I picked it up for like 55 bucks from like backcountry.com. Uh, it was free two day shipping. Um, I didn't see any reviews for this pack online at all uh, as, as far as videos go. I saw a couple pictures here and there, but um, just thought I would, you know, put it out there. So it's an awesome pack. Um, you know, two of the pockets here. Really, really cool. I think this is going to serve me well for a while. The stitching looks great. Um, yeah, I just think it's going to hold up really well. So, yep, that's it. Uh, High Coast 18 from Fuel Raven. Oh, uh, they also make this three different colors, flame orange, navy blue. This is the dark gray version, and they also make one in 24 liter. So if the 18 is too small for you, you can get the 24 liter. Uh, it's under 100 bucks. I think it's like 70 something dollars. Um, might be something I might actually pick up in the future. I don't know. I got a backpack problem. All right.